Hey guys, this is Jam Jama and I'm really excited to share with you guys our unboxing and hands-on of the Asus Zenfone 3. Uh, as you may know, uh, we have uh, seen the Asus Zenfone 3 before in Taiwan. We had we had a uh, two unbox and uh, two hands-on videos of this one. This is the Zenfone 3 5.5 inch version, and uh, this one has a four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage with a Snapdragon 625 processor. It's a new processor we haven't tried that before and I'm really excited to try out this one well number one because it's a Zen phone and number two this one isn't out yet in here in the country yes the Asus Zen phone 3 is expected to be out in the Philippines on August 14 and uh, right now this is an early um, preview of uh, what we are expecting on an Asus Zen phone 3 so uh, tada, let's unbox and let's take a closer look on the Asus Zen phone 3 Alright guys, so you're looking at the Asus Zenfone 3, uh, I've just got it and uh, it's really awesome. Actually, I've unboxed it earlier just to test it out because I'm too excited for the Asus Zenfone 3. We first seen this one on Computex, uh, we, have an, we haven't had a hands-on of this one for two times. This is the third time and this time it's an unboxing video. So, uh, let's unbox this one. So we have here the Asus Zenfone 3, there we go. And then, uh, unboxing this one, alright. So uh, inside, let's open up this one. You'll see uh, sticker, of course the, uh, the IMEI and everything. We still have the pin inside and also our user manual, of course, as expected. Okay, we're gonna place that one on the side first. Then uh, we also have here um, our charger. Fortunately, this time, this is the fast charger. This one's just a five amp years. Uh, five, I'm sorry, five volts, two ampere charger. So it's different from the last time. And uh, we also have now a USB Type C. It's not um, micro USB anymore. So if you have a, uh, if you're a Zenfone 2 user and uh, you want to recycle your cables, unfortunately you cannot use that anymore because this one is using USB Type C. But of course, USB Type C has its own approach, like uh, faster charging. Uh, faster data transfer and um, reversible uh, design all right so another one we got the earbuds in here and then uh, we also have here our in earphones which is similar to the Asus and phones uh, that uh, we tested before there we go okay so, so you could see this the in earphones I'm gonna place this one on the side first so we could play with the Asus and phone 3 so this is the Asus Zenfone 3. I've, like what I've told you before, I've unboxed it already. I've tested this one and it's really damn gorgeous. All right, so let's talk about the uh, design and hardware first. So inside there's a, a Snapdragon 605 processor. This is the 5.5 inch variant. Uh, that's why this was a 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. That's the variant that will be arriving here in the Philippines for the 5.5 inch Zenfone 3. Again, it's a 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. While the 5.2 version uh, will just be a, having a 3 gigs of RAM and um, 32 gigs of storage. Anyway, let's talk about this one. So we have your 5.5 inch uh, full HD display that looks really gorgeous. We have here our front camera, our uh, our earpiece, and then we have here the uh, capacity buttons. Unfortunately, this one isn't backlit uh, capacity buttons. So if you're in the dark, you can see uh, these buttons because this one doesn't light up. So unlike the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe, those uh, capacity buttons of the Deluxe has a backlit uh, capacity buttons. So on the side, we got here a metal, just uh, premium metal and gorgeous uh, sides. As you could see, we have here the USB Type-C below along with the uh, speaker grill. Uh, on the right, we got the power button, the volume button, and on the top, we got the 3.5 mm audio jack. So actually, it feels very premium because um, you have the glass and the back and the front and the front, and then you have a metal side. Uh, and this one looks like kind of color blue, and uh, it's kind of different. And I really like the color and the feel of this one. Actually, it feels better than uh, my previous uh, smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S6. And I, I really like this one instead. So yeah, it's, this one's pretty awesome. So let's talk about the back uh, of the Asus Zenfone 3. So as you could see, this one 
it's just gorgeous I mean look at that so that's the con iconic concentric circle of the Asus Zenfone 3 or actually it's the Asus Zen series whether that's a Zenbook or the Zenfone uh, you would actually notice that they have this concentric circle design so uh, uh, we also have here the fingerprint uh, sensor um, the uh, 13 I'm sorry 16 megapixel camera the dual LED flash and then we have here the uh, laser autofocus uh, this one is made up of metal we have the Asus logo in here and it, again this one feels very premium and uh, since the size is uh, rounded kind of curve uh, it feels better than the S6 because the S6 has a flat uh, size which made uh, the smartphone harder to hold compared to this one. If This one is, has a bigger display but I feel more comfortable using the Asus Zenfone 3. So um, let's talk about the software. So inside uh, we got a, uh, a Zen UI 3 running on Android Marshmallow. Actually you could notice that uh, the lock screen is kind of similar to the Asus Zenfone 2 because of the three icons in here. Uh, also, uh, I could also unlock the smartphone with this fingerprint sensor at the back. So I'll just have to place my finger in here. I'm oh, sorry. To place, I said this one. Place my finger in here. And automatically, I could unlock the smartphone. Actually, the fingerprint scanner can recognize my finger really fast, and it's pretty damn good. So uh, unfortunately, uh, there's no fingerprint. Uh, I'm sorry. There's no volume button at the back anymore. You place the volume uh, button. Uh, on the side and uh, this one is just a uh, fingerprint sensor but I mean uh, the fingerprint scanner was placed uh, nicely I mean I really like the fingerprint scanner uh, when they are placed at the back of a uh, smartphone and then uh, as you could see uh, we have only a few apps but I've installed Antutu just to show you Antutu a while later on uh, but as you can see, we still have those uh, applications that comes pre-installed with the smartphones, like this one. So this app's for you, and as you could see, we have a lot of pre-installed applications, including a Need for Speed game and a SimCity game. We also have Lazada, Beauty Plus, Instagram, Amazon, Puffin Browser, uh, and then also we also have some um, pre-installed Asus applications. And actually annoys me that there are a lot of applications pre-installed on this smartphone. Uh, and just like the previous Zen phone, so you have to update first your smartphone and then update all of the applications uh, on the Play Store. That's why it, it took me a lot of, uh, it took me like two hours or, or an hour to update those because of my slow internet connection. Anyway, um, as you can see, we still have those applications that we don't really need, but uh, thankfully, Zen UI 3.0 has uh, replaced some of those applications including messenger the one the messenger that we are using right now is the google messenger the one is also available on um, the nexus i mean this is the google messenger not made by asus anymore all right so we have the google applications the amazon kindle that i will uninstall later on because i don't really need that there's audio wizard uh, calculator camera chrome uh, basically um let's talk about first uh, the asus applications uh like the laser ruler i don't really need that we don't need that uh and then we have mini movie for creating uh, short films uh we also have my asus uh puffin we talked about that a while ago splendid uh, app just to control your the display of your smartphone uh, we also have the weather app web storage zen circle zen phone care zen talk most of the time you won't need that uh, those applications for your smartphone then we also have beauty plus uh, lazada document slides basically google uh, office applications and then trip advisor we also have the zen flash s camera but unfortunately we don't have a, uh, a zen flash s and uh, we have seen that before at uh, taiwan we don't have that one right now but uh, hopefully those uh, accessories would be available here in the country uh, so basically that's it for the applications that are pre-installed with uh, the Asus Zenfone 3 so let's talk about um, the Antutu benchmark actually uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the Antutu benchmark of this one this one is running on uh, Snapdragon 625 processor and, uh, one, uh, and a 4 gigs of RAM and I got a score of 61808 I mean that's not bad it's uh, pretty good and it's a high score already for me and then uh, let's check out our info. Uh, Alright, so uh, we have here uh, the Full HD display at Adreno 506 GPU, uh, CPU which is a Snapdragon 625. The rear camera is 13 megapixel, really. But uh, I could uh, actually uh, adjust it to 16 megapixel. I'm gonna show that to you later on. So 4 gigs of RAM, actually it's 3.6, that's 4 gigs anyway. Um, 
64 gigs of storage. There we go. So uh, let's go to the, uh, the camera. So as you could see, uh, instead of uh, making HDR uh, a uh, special setting in here, I could actually just choose uh, and activate HDR here. That's pretty good. Uh, and then of course we still have those uh, modes like manual mode, HDR Pro. This one is really good, HDR Pro. Beautification, children, super resolution, and other modes. There are actually a lot of modes that are uh, that comes with the Asus camera. Uh, and then uh, let's try out. Sorry, let's just try out auto. And then uh, actually I'm going to just show you that uh, this one could also control the ISO, uh, ISO exposure value the camera resolution is up to 16 megapixels uh, it's an image quality fine and uh, one advantage of using this one of the Zenfone 3 is that you can now record 4k videos compared to the Asus Zenfone 2 so I'm pretty happy with that but I will still stick to 1080p because I actually uh, I don't have a monitor that supports 4k I just I, I just have a full HD uh, display so uh, there we go then I actually took some shots a while ago uh, it's not really that much, but uh, you know, I, I could easily notice that the Asus Zenfone 3 has upgraded. I mean, the camera is has a, it's a big leap from the Asus Zenfone 2. You could see the details, even though this one is low light. I actually didn't use any flash, and it's actually pretty bright for uh, this one. And I could notice the details in here. Uh, you could read a Singapore uh, flyer. This one is even better uh, than some of my smartphones. I cannot say that this one is better than the uh, current flagship smartphones like the S7 Edge or the S7 but it could uh, you know um, it's probably on par or near the Galaxy S6 which is pretty good for me. I mean the Galaxy S6 already has a pretty good camera. Outside this one is really bright as you could see but uh, I guess I need uh, they need to fix uh, some of the exposure. There we go so it's pretty really, uh, uh, bright in here. Um, I really actually like the camera of this one. It's a big upgrade. It's really a big upgrade. And there are a few noises on this one. Although it's kind of soft, but uh, I really appreciate um, the changes of the Asus Zenfone uh, 3's camera. So as you can see, here's a selfie camera that we used before. We have an 8 megapixel camera. We, with our friends from ASUS, we have here Alvin, uh, uh, Reggie, and of course Anve of ASUS Philippines. and. Uh, there we go as you could see I'm sorry as you could see we have a pretty good detail in here and it's pretty good for selfies I actually like the colors uh, the contrast and everything so far uh, the camera has been a big big upgrade from the Asus Zenfone 2 and I really like all the features of the Asus Zenfone 3 so uh, yeah I guess that's it for our unboxing and our hands-on of the um, Asus Zenfone 3 so if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet well now it's time to subscribe so once again I'm Jam of jamonline.ph and thanks for watching our hands-on and unboxing of the Asus Zenfone 3